Hello, Christ United Methodist Church, friends and family. It's Pastor Jeremiah coming to you with a devotional message tonight that uh, will be briefer than my normal devotions. Uh, I spent a good amount of time here in the last, well, hour and a half trying to put together this week's devotional based on the upper room. Um, and I, no matter what I did for whatever reason, it didn't have my sound. I couldn't fix it. Uh, I spent a lot of time getting it just right, like I do each and every week, and the technical difficulty I encountered. I'm not sure what the heck happened. And so I started to think about this and uh, whether I'd have to redo the whole video again. And then I decided, you know what? The devotional tonight's going to be a little different. Um, I had promised to spend some time in working out with my daughter and uh, um, with Heather now working a lot more hours and not being around, I have made myself a promise that I would be quicker to just let things go, not have to make everything perfect and uh, to honor the time that I've been given um, more and hold it more uh, valuable, you know. Um, and, and so it's been a, a practice for me to learn to let things be good enough, to, to let go of my a desire for things to be perfect, <laughs> um, or at least as perfect as I can make them. And sometimes stuff just doesn't work out. How true is that? In life, we have our desires, our goals, our expectations of ourself. We set all kinds of expectations for meetings and family get-togethers, and, and we burden ourselves so much with all this extra baggage on ourselves about trying to make everything perfect, trying to get it right. And lots of times we end up falling short. Things don't work out the way we plan. And we can either drive ourselves nuts trying to fix the problem or we can let it go and say, you know, I did the best I could. And this is the best that uh, I can give right now um, and to make it good enough. And to know that God is moving and working in and through all of our efforts and all the things we do to reveal God's love in a hurting and broken world in and through each and every one of us. And so we can maybe let go of our attachment to outcomes, let go of our desire to make everything just so, and rest to take some peace in knowing that doing our best is good enough. And I got to tell you, um, especially now during this time of uh, getting back to quote-unquote normal, um, starting to move back into more in-person worship places and getting church things back to normal and getting our meetings back up and going and adapting to a post-COVID world, there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of expectations, there's a lot of change that's going on, and, and not just myself, but pastors in every church everywhere, they're feeling worn out, they're feeling worn thin. Everything is under a microscope and there's high expectations from people. And lots of times you're just pastors in general are feeling like they just don't measure up. That they're just always letting someone down or upsetting somebody as they try to adjust to new changes. And they try to make changes in their local churches because they're going to need to happen. The world has changed. And if we're going to reach people for the gospel of Jesus Christ, if we're going to make people feel welcome, wanted and important in our church buildings, we're going to have to do things differently. And that might mean that some people are upset or uncomfortable. It might mean that things have to change and, and be no longer look the way they once did. And that's hard. And I'm not talking about anything specific here in our church directly, even though many of those problems are things I've intersected with myself. I'm just talking about having gone through annual conference, listening to a clergy session where I'm listening to my colleagues and my peers just feel worn out, having congregational members yelling at them and, and angry at them that the things aren't moving fast enough, that things aren't back to normal quickly enough, that there's all these expectations and pastor just isn't doing enough, you know. All the colleagues I know, the peers that I have that are in ministry, myself included, we don't have to be perfect. That's reserved for one person, Jesus Christ, who is perfect, the perfect example for us, and who took on flesh to die for each and every one of us to reveal that there's a way back to God's perfect love and will for each of us by just letting go, resting in the arms of the Lord and knowing that our best is good enough and sometimes our best just doesn't measure up and we got to be willing to let that go and pick ourselves up and try again and so tonight my devotional message to you is no matter what it is you're struggling with or working on or trying to overcome in your life 
Do the best that you can and sometimes let yourself off the hook. Move on. Try again and know that God will take your best, your good, your efforts and rework them to something magnificent and beyond your comprehension. So tonight, I invite you to pick it up and to wonder. And if you want to know which devotional I did spend the time on, I read tonight uh, the one titled The Woodpecker um, for Tuesday, June 8th. It's about scripture study and how difficult that is for so many people to and to deal with. And Mark DeRue from Michigan, he really just talks about the determination that we need to make scripture study valuable in our life and how frequently um, he, we are those who give up too soon and that we don't work hard enough to gather information from our scripture study. In fact, we give up and, and we don't recognize that our work and our effort, our determination, our discipline, and our dedication to constantly trying to find meaning in scripture, which is so often so difficult for so many of us to understand, um, that we keep trying and that the Lord will take our efforts and make them good enough. Just like the woodpecker that he saw outside his window that kept da -da 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 -da, uh, getting bugs out of a, a power pole. Um, focused, determined, disciplined, trying to get what's just underneath that rotten wood on the outside surface. Just like that with scripture study. It may seem like there's nothing going on. We may not understand it, but if we keep focusing on it, God will make our efforts worthwhile. And so I invite you to read the devotional. You can find it online at Upper Room. Uh, dot com or uh, the upper room for Tuesday, June 8th, the woodpecker. And you know what? Tomorrow I'll link the, the devotional in there for us if you're looking for it. Um, but it, it's found in this month's upper room and it's for Tuesday, June 8th. Um, and I'll, I'll give you this analogy as a closing thought regarding scripture study in general. You know, <clears throat> scripture study, somebody I can't remember who said to me, it's like this. It's like a child standing in front of a full refrigerator. There's tons of food in there. And then that kid says, Mom, there's nothing to eat. <laughs> and, and what it is is that child lacks an imagination to be able to see all those ingredients and turn them into something they like. We are much like those children, oftentimes in the face of the divine and in the face of our scripture studies. We look at it and we say there's nothing to eat, but there's tons there for us. So I invite you to work on it, to open up your scriptures, to join a Bible study. We have one here every Monday at 9 a.m. and every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Come join Listen to others struggle with the text with other people. Find meaning and value in your efforts. I leave that with you tonight and also invite you to, just like I am, to let it go. Do your best. And if it doesn't work out, try again. It's okay. Just do the next right thing whenever you uh, struggle or when you're, whenever you encounter something that's difficult. And again, once again, I appreciate your understanding. Um, I don't know what happened to the sound. But I got the problem fixed, and there's sound on this video. I'm sure of it. All right. Well, have a good week. I'll be back next week with a full Upper Room devotional. But for this week, just let it go. Rest in God and know that whatever you do, God will take your work and make it meaningful as long as you do it with his best will in your heart. And I leave that with you in Christ's name. Amen. Let's pray tonight. God, I just thank you for the opportunity to meet once again with all those who are hearing my voice. And I... God, I just ask you that you would honor each of us as we maybe try and seek peace and rest, that we don't work so hard. We don't try and be perfect and place those unnecessary burdens on ourselves. And I also remind each of us that we can open up scripture and work a little bit harder, have some discipline like that dedicated woodpecker in Mark, Mark's story coming to us this week in the upper room, that we be disciplined and continue to seek for some good, even when it's hard for us to do. Give us a will and a desire to just chip at things one little step at a time, to do what we can, and to leave the rest at your feet. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a good night.